Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Vogue. Then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Range Rover 4.4 SD V8 autobiography. It's four wheel drive, Euro 5 engine, 2014 on a 14 plate, has done 44,451 miles. Massive spec on it, two registered keepers, fuel economy. Urban, 24.6 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 37.2 miles per gallon. And combined is 32.5 miles per gallon. And I'm sure you'll agree, if you, if you can actually get that miles per gallon, then it's extremely good for this size of vehicle. 0-60 time of 6.5 seconds. A top speed of 135 miles per hour out of an eight cylinder, 334 brake horsepower, 32 valve engine. Well, where to start? Um, this car will parallel park itself. There you go, parallel park, space found, still going forward. Stop, select reverse and await instructions. So into reverse, reverse with care. Right, here we go. I'm reversing with care <laughs> and I'm not looking. <laughs> Should have put it out of the roof. I'm just covering the brake. Stop, select D, select D. Park assist finished. Perfect. <laughs> what, what, is, what a system. It has three position electric memory, heated and cooled massage seats, full electric tilt and slide panoramic glass roof with shade band, 22 inch seven split spoke diamond cut alloy wheels, deployable side steps, deployable tow bar, soft closed doors, heated wooden leather steering wheel, heated front screen, adaptive cruise control, keyless go, keyless lock, power split tailgate, xenon headlights with high pressure wash, sat nav, Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming, Meridian sound system, timed climate with remote control, TV with dual view screen, electrically operated tilt and slide steering wheel and rear entertainment system. Um, two keys there and that's also the heater key the timed climate key I don't know that's gone on green but you can warm the vehicle up before you get in it just knock it off again service history 24th of the 3rd 2015 at 7638 miles Collier's Land Rover 6th of the 4th 2016 at 15,211 miles Collier's Land Rover. Thanks for that. You couldn't just have landed somewhere else <laughs> and cast a shadow. Um, 24th of 2nd, 2017 at 18,338 miles Lancaster Land Rover. 15th of 2nd, 2018 at 22,163 miles Lancaster Land Rover. 15th of 2nd, 2019 at 25,147 miles Lancaster Land Rover, 22nd of the 9, 2020, at 30,032 miles Lister's Land Rover, 27th of the 10th, 2021, at 33,208 miles Lister's Land Rover. So a good service history there, and we'll be doing it again before it goes out. Now, <clears throat> so, you probably can't see from there, but, if you can, I'll try and cut some footage in anyway. You see there the side steps, you open the door, side steps come out, you close the door, side steps go back in again. So it doesn't spoil your, uh, or don't create too much drag. This should be behind the wheels um, and sheltered. Two keys, just tuck them away in there. Have a swig of my coffee before I go.
foot on the brake, it's keyless entry, keyless ignition, foot on the brake, start up like so. Now, I'm not sure who this has belonged to, it's not being cleaned yet, it's a beautiful car. There's quite a lot of glitter, <laughs> quite, quite a lot of glitter uh, scattered about, so it, it, it's either a stripper or a Peter Stringfellow, but whoever it was, it's a beautiful car. Right, so it's also got one of my favourite accessories. We'll just get the uh, we'll just get the steering wheel and everything. The seats on my right there, near enough. Um, get the door mirrors. Yeah, door mirrors. You've got folding door mirrors as well. I'll just show you that. So there you go. And that is access height so you see the car going down get to where you want to go press the button you shouldn't need it anyway with the side steps but if you do then uh, you've got it anyway so what was i going to say so that's that's the seats that's where i want them there or thereabouts i mean i, I can even that should be taking the headrest up as well yeah there or thereabouts so just click m and one and that's it. Now we'll just do a bit of <laughs> memory seat Russian roulette just to see who was driving it or the second driver so I promise you I've not touched this before. Very impressive Baz, it's not moved. Oh, third seat. So there you go. Lady has bought that Evoke um, from us and she's picking it up today and she has had an Audi A1 and she was she was worried when she came, she was quite worried about whether it would be too big or whether it would feel too big driving it. And honestly, they're the easiest car on the road to drive. Um, the, the first thing is everybody gets out of your way. <laughs> When they see you coming in something like this, two and a half ton, they, they know they're going to come off worse, so they get out of your way. And you, you can see the corners. I mean, I, I, from here, I, I can still see the, the corners of the car. So it's not a problem. You put it in reverse. There you go, reversing camera. And that's, oh, this has got, as I say, it's got great specification. You've got blind spot warning lights. It's also got an electric tow bar as well which I'll, again I'll try and remember to cut in, I always forget. But the best, the best. <laughs> now, if you watch my video, videos, you'll know I like massage seats. And there's a film called Fuji Iriaki, who have actually sent me a massage chair to test and keep. And I promise you, it's the best invention ever. But click on the seats, massage seats on. And there you go. I think it's, has it also got, got heated and cooled seats? Oh, honestly, it's bliss. And here, we'll just click that. That's the passenger seat going. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. But honestly, it is absolute. There's rollers going up and down my back now. It's absolute bliss. You know, honestly, if I could get my <laughs> Fuji Iriaki massage seat in a car, then that would be it. That I'd, I'd live in it. But this is uh, this is it's a, it's a close second. Well, it's not a close second, but it's good. It's it. it oh, it's it's fabulous, honestly. So what else we got? We've got sat nav and 
I was out in the Velar the other day and I was trying to get the sat nav to work and I thought it was broken. And apparently you've got to pay a subscription now for the for the sat nav. Fortunately, that uh, that one's got Apple CarPlay, so you can just use your phone anyway, and you don't need to. But this, no subscription. Now I've got polarized sunglasses on as well. Oh, cranky! I, I should really have read the specification on this before I came out, but it looks like it uh, parks itself as well. Perhaps we're going too fast. We've also got that will be split screen. No doubt it's telephone as well. Is that Speedo Dave or whatever he's called? Who knows? Junction view. Yes, yes, time to mark. Turn that down. One of the copyright strikes. So there you go, you got TV. Um, yes, there you go. From my side. I'll just switch on the nav. So from my side, all I can see is the nav. From that side, you can see the TV. So it's uh, driver can quite happily find where he's going, and the passenger can watch TV. It's got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, I'm just going to knock that off actually, so you can't see the TV. No doubt I'll be breaking some other copyright laws and. The engine is just ticking over. It really is. It's uh, oh, it sounds like it's just ticking over. It's absolutely fantastic. You've got heated steering wheel there. Another fantastic accessory. But you know things, things like this. Things, you know, I, I, I think anything that can save a life should be standard on a car and I can't understand why it isn't and certainly the blind spot indicators in the door mirrors will save a life save a lot of money and for the for the price of them they should be standard I, I really don't understand that at, at all um, I mean I, that that would almost to me that's almost like having a seat belt for somebody else outside, a, a motorcyclist outside, for instance. Steering wheel's getting nice and warm now. It's a wooden leather steering wheel, which is beautiful. You've got cruise control. Just get past here, around the bend. So, cruise control, click set, that's it, one touch. This is how Land Rovers, Range Rovers should be made. One touch everything, one click. You've also got, you can set, it's kind of the, the Distronic or Adaptive Cruise Control. So you can set the distance you want to be from these buttons here, from the car in front, and it will slow you down. If, if we get close enough to a car, I'll, I'll show you how it works. The car is just absolutely fabulous. I, I don't know how much this would cost new, but um, it's just great value for money. If you want a second car or anything, a car for your family to drive around in at weekend and keep them safe, then this is absolutely ideal. I'll just click the cruise on again, um, and then I'll shorten the distance between you know, take that down and then plus it so we go a bit faster. Yeah, and it's keeping me a distance from the car in front. Now, if I want the, the gap to be bigger, if I click that, there we go, we're just dropping back now. There 
uh, were gaining on the, the car in front. As soon as we get near, it'll slow me down. Let's just see, because we're coming to the roundabout now. There you go. I'm not touching the brake, it's stopping me. So, we're speeding up again there as well. Monster engine. I was reading an article the other day that Britain are uh, short of tanks. Gun turret through the pan roof here. Job sorted. So also, let's see. Let's see. That's there. We go. Let's see. Opening pan roof. Close it again. I'm going to put cruise on. It's 50 along here. So we'll just get to 50. Ooh, listen that noise. On to 50, just below 50. So I'm going to click. Oh, now now we're down to 40. We get to 40, and then there we go. There or thereabouts, 40. So let's see. Click that, and it, it's brilliant. You can put the blind up like so my side seats are still going just so comfortable our uh, Range Rover videos are the most popular of all the cars we do and you know we've, we've had all sorts but the Range Rovers always attract the most attention the most comments and it's usually the Vogue that everybody really likes the proper Range Rover. You know, it's it's the the kind of no compromise 4.4 SD V8. And uh, make no mistake, the way EV prices are dropping at the moment, it's probably cheaper to run one of these than it is to to run an EV. And I, and I know which I'd rather drive. I know which I'd rather have the family in, which is the most convenient. The car is just absolutely fantastic. It looks like it's got Meridian speakers as well. Yeah, so the sound system will be awesome. I've not actually paired my phone to the system in this car yet. So I'll perhaps do that and blast a bit of music out in fact if there's a lay-by up here we'll give it a go this is a really bumpy road by the way and it's just <laughs> takes it in its stride nice big front central armrest, big flat door card here for you to rest your arm on. You've also got here, if you're a little bit slimmer, there you go, you can set that and adjust it from here for the armrest. Click that into sport, press it down into sport, you'll hear engine noise increases the revs by about 500 makes the throttle more sensitive you don't need that you got your terrain response control here it's in auto at the moment but you know you can change it click it in button raises and then whiz it round to where you want here that's your air suspension or ride height you get your front and rear heated screens heated seats I'll just
just need to uh, knock the massager on again. That's gone off. I need to knock that on. Seat zone. That's heated, we can knock it down like so. Then we go on to cooling, so you can, it blows cold air through these perforations, keeps you cool in summer. Um, let's just knock that off. And then we want the massage here. So there you go, that's showing you the um, direction of the massage. the intensity but it's got to be max and it's <clears throat> so you, you probably can't see it but it's so good This is a lovely road, but unfortunately, it's 30, 40, 50, and the signs are very few and far between. Just showing us 50 here. And uh, I don't want to get done for speeding. So split folding rear seats. There's a huge armrest. If you've only got two people in the back, it's a huge armrest. It's also got entertainment. So there's two screens in these back headrests. Keep the kids quiet. Just put that back. And close that. Great view of the road. You really do just just feel like you you own the road. Probably why you always see Range Rovers parked in the most inconvenient places for you, but not for them. Fifty miles an hour. Set the cruise again. I don't want to get them for speeding. Oops. TV as well. See 50 now we're in a 30. Drop down to 30. There we go. Set again. Don't leave anything to chance. The air con freezing. It, my, my feet are like blocks of ice. <laughs> it's that good. The heated steering wheel has been on for a while now. Now, I would have thought that there would only be these leather bits that were heated, but the wood's heated too. I mean, how clever is that? Heated wood, that's just brilliant. So the heated steering wheel is a, is a big thumbs up. Must put the massage chairs back on again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, when I get back to the garage, I'm just going to get my computer and come and sit in the car and leave the massage on. Automatic. I'm not going to do that, Buzz. Next minute, <laughs> I'll be getting a summons through the post. Also got leather headlining. The car is just absolutely fantastic. It's one of the nicest ones we've ever had. A 
and as as luck would have it, a couple of weeks ago, John and myself went out in a vehicle, um, and we had the battery pack, the jump start pack, in the vehicle. Unfortunately, we forgot to take it out of the vehicle, and we sold it. So the, it went. It ended up going to uh, Colwyn Bay, and it's they're about five hundred quid, I think. So John then immediately, <laughs> trying to save money, decided that um, he would try and find a car to buy near Colwyn Bay. So kill two birds with one stone. Go down on the train, pick the car up, and then get the. Uh, get the battery pack on the way back and he found this I mean it, it's, it's kind of just sliding doors you know Th this car is so beautiful would we have got it if we if we hadn't been stupid and left the battery pack in the in a car um, doubtful so whoever gets this vehicle <laughs> is all down to our stupidity that <laughs> you've got a fantastic car it's just I, I love it all right, I'm going to I'm going to finish the test drive there, and uh, I've got to now try and find a place to take photographs of it. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.